spring is just around the corner so in today's video I thought I'd run through 10 of the biggest trends for spring summer 2022. It's always nice to take a look and see what's going to be in style for the season ahead whether you choose to wear them or not. Looking at the trends there's not many I think I'm going to be wearing but maybe you can incorporate some of them into your wardrobe. Cutouts do seem to have been around for ages don't they and they're here to stay this season. They were seen on the shows of Stella McCartney, Saint Laurent, David Comer, revealing bare shoulders, hips and midriffs. They can be worn in a more sporty casual way and I do think they can be worn more elegantly as well. They've hit the stores already. Zara have blouses with very subtle cutouts on the shoulders and dresses with more revealing cutouts. H&M do very similar dresses and they've also got some shirts with some cutout backs which is an unusual design feature. Karen Millen do the trend very subtly with very small cutouts that are on trend but not overly obvious or trendy. Dresses with very subtle shoulder cutouts can look quite lovely and I think it's the easiest way to add the trend. Well this dress has got very small cutouts on the waist and it's a nice way to do the trend in a really stylish but classy way. Lime green was all over the catwalks. Versace, Valentino, Erdem, Stella McCartney, they all showed the colour in various different ways and the online stores have been very quick to jump on the trend. It was hard to miss in H&M when I went there last week. The bright greens against the browns really stood out. There was green jumpers, green shirts and Zara had some green pieces too. Karen Millen right now have got some tops and dresses in the shade and Target has a gorgeous lime green slip dress that looks quite nice but it's just a shame it's not just a little bit longer. Reese also have a lime green dress which looks nice and like all colours there are some variations in the shade. There's some more greeny limes and then there's some more yellowy limes. If lime green isn't your thing then maybe hot pink is. Versace, Dior, David Comer, they all showed this colour in their collections and of all the trends this is perhaps one that I would consider wearing. I mean you can find it everywhere right now and you can get it in blazers, trousers, jumpers, dresses, you name it. Marks and Spencers have got lots of hot pink pieces in store. Now the camera has dulled these things down quite a bit, they were much brighter in the store. They had some pink blazers which are really wearable. I saw this lovely shirt dress again which is very wearable. They've got a variety of different trousers, wide leg style and cigarette style. Zara also had a lot of pink in store. This coat I thought looked great and this little shirt dress looked quite nice too. Karen Millen have got some nice pieces, all of these look terrific and would blend beautifully with more classic styles. Reese have a gorgeous blazer and shorts combination too in a very bright pink and this I think is a lovely example of how bright pink can be worn. It looks wonderful with beige so if you had some bright pink trousers rather than shorts it could be paired up with some beige neutrals on top and I think it would look terrific. Halter necks are the neckline of the season. I mean, they're great for showcasing shoulders and they do quite a good job of drawing the eyes upwards, especially if your bottom half is a problem area. And I do think they can look quite elegant. Valentino and Michael Kors showed the halter neck combined with cutouts and Tory Burch showed a maxi dress with the crossover halter neck. Now Lily Silk have a lovely halter neck dress that's just come in that looks really quite beautiful. Navy and white, always looks so classy. Reese have quite a few dresses with halter necks. I thought this green one in particular was lovely. They also have some, some gorgeous tops which you could leave hanging loose for a very summery look or a nice way to wear them is tucked in maybe with some wide leg trousers. This style of neckline can really work well with certain body types so it can be a very wearable trend for some. Low rise bottoms are not to everyone's taste, they're definitely not to mine, but they are back. Mew Mew, Tom Ford, Versace featured the low slung under the belly button waistline, along with Isabel Morant and Brandon Maxwell. It's a trend for the young, I think, or for those that have flatter than flat middles. I love yellow, so I'm really pleased to see this as a colour trend for the spring and summer. It's much more wearable than hot pink and lime green, and it could very easily fit into a classic wardrobe. Chloe showed beautiful maxi dresses, Max Mara had a beautiful holiday vibe with yellow, and Jill Sander showed some buttery yellow outerwear. 
in the high street stores Zara had a great yellow cardigan and Marks and Spencers had a gorgeous button down shirt just simply worn with jeans it's a nice easy way to add the colour to your wardrobe or you could wear the shirt open layered over a white camisole or vest top you can wear yellow very casually a yellow hoodie like this with jeans and again with a white t-shirt and trainers is a nice easy day to day look or instead of a hoodie you could try a yellow cardigan instead a yellow pair of trousers can really look fantastic you could pair those with a white blazer or simply with a white shirt and it could look lovely or a yellow blazer like this one would look fabulous with some light denim and again with a white top this is a trend that could easily work and you may have something in a buttery yellow shade in your wardrobe already that you could dig out and start wearing again Hemlines have been on the longer side for a little while now, but the mini is back in a micro mini length. Miu Miu showed a micro mini, which looks a little bit more like a belt. It's worn ultra low on the hips, which is not easy to pull off. But a more wearable way to wear the mini skirt this season is to wear it as part of a skirt suit. If you've got the legs and the confidence, a mini skirt suit can look terrific. In the spring summer shows, there were a variety of different mini skirt suits in pastels, in bold colours and in different fabrics and textures. Mango do a tweed skirt suit and Zara have some lovely ones in bold colours and different textures and also River Island do the trend in an orange check. Another trend I'm loving this season is the statement trouser suit in really statement colours. These look fabulous with beautiful wide leg trousers in really eye-catching colour palettes. And this is the trend that any age could wear and it doesn't look too trendy. It's easier to wear than a midi skirt suit if you're over a certain age, that's for sure. Zara had lots of coloured suits in store. Very bright colours and more subdued shades. Kos have a gorgeous pink suit. This yellow one is from Joseph in a crepe satin if you wanted to go bold. JD Williams have an orange suit, Mango have a coral suit, River Island has a blue one and Zara has a rainbow of coloured suits. I actually think you'll find one out there in whatever colour you choose. Apparently it's time to ditch our shirts and wear our bras as tops. This is one of those trends that is for the catwalks or for the very cool Instagram ladies, but not really for the real world. Coach paired the triangle shaped bra with a skirt layered with a coat and Fendi did the same thing, but with trousers. Michael Kors also showed the bra with a skirt and Tom Ford showed the bra with some satin trousers. Pleats had their time a little while back, but they've made a comeback this season in very metallic shimmery fabrics. Brandon Maxwell and Fendi showed middies and maxis in a very glamorous way. If you like a bit of sparkle and shimmer, this may be a trend for you. It can look very feminine and quite beautiful. This one is very sparkly. It's from Banana Republic and it's just under £100. In this picture, it's paired with a black roll neck, which I think looks gorgeous. And I think it's one of those pieces that could easily be dressed up or down. Zara have pleated tops and trousers in very shiny fabrics and you can get metallic gold and silver skirts as well. But if you don't really do shiny, sparkly or metallics, a beautiful white pleated skirt could look very elegant. Do you see yourself wearing any of those? There's a few there that I may try, like the trouser suits and added some yellow, possibly pleats. Let me know if you're going to try any of those below. Bye for now.